On today's video, a toucan gets very high. We are several minutes in and you're still wrestling with your blanket. She's like just refusing to go to sleep. You gotta get off the whiskey. <laughs> she's still trying to fight the blanket. <laughs> Only if she's getting a little weaker. <laughs> still trying to wrestle the blanket. Well, we finally made it to the vet here. Um, I didn't bother filming any travel segments or anything that you guys probably don't want to see that anyway. We just did a vlog not that long ago about traveling. We don't need to do it again. Let's just get right to the point. Looks like her hawks are healing, which is good. So um, we got her here. And as long as she survives sedation for the x-ray, um, which I'm sure she will, she's gonna be okay. So it might take a while to get her hawks healed and um, you know, it's gonna be an effort to rehab her movement and everything, but I can finally maybe get some sleep because I've been freaking out about this bird and stressing about her for far too long. Even before I picked her up, I was stressed about it. <laughs> but um, I'll keep you guys updated uh, once we learn what happens in her x-ray. So, see you soon. I'm gonna give the medication in her muscle right here along her keel. And we're using a combination of butorphanol and midazolam. And she's gonna be high when she wakes up. Yes. <laughs> I remember I had a, another bird like her, Tupac, and he was very high when he woke up. I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a cool> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a good bird. Okay. He had uh, arthritis and yeah. similar mobility issues, so. Okay. okay. Draw it back so we can make sure there's no blood in the needle, and then we push it in. There we go. And sometimes rubbing it helps absorb a little bit. Very good. And sometimes they fall asleep fast within a minute or so. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes. Okay, well, we'll we're going to wait for her. Do you want to put her in there? Oh, she's already probably a little woozy. <laughs> Take a nap, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna get you better. Oh, put it underneath there. there we go. oh, never mind. <laughs> she wants to fight the blanket. You got her back covered up here, just so. This is what I've been, when she won't sleep in her cat bed, this is what um, I've been letting her sleep in, in my room, so. Which I'm sure, I haven't edited all the videos, but I'm sure I've mentioned that at some point <laughs> in the last few yeah. videos. So hopefully she'll just, Feel a little more safe and comfortable in here. I take a little nap. She likes wrestling with her blanket, so. You tiring out? No, oh, no, we still got some fight. Her favorite toy, from what I've seen so far, has just been literally shaking the blanket. We're gonna look at your bones and see what happened to you. I really hope she doesn't have anything calcified or arthritis or anything, but. <sighs> It's a moment of truth for you. We'll see how normal you can return to. We are several minutes in and you're still wrestling with your blanket. She's like just refusing to go to sleep. It reminds me of like <laughs> every time I would like go under for a uh, surgery or a procedure for my heart stuff. I would always try to fight it too. <laughs> Never works though, does it? She's still fighting it. Is she? <laughs> yeah. Like you were sleeping earlier. I think I think it's I think it's starting to hit her now though. She's yeah. kinda gaping and like, oh, what was going on? I was like, I see something around the floor. I was like, I don't know if that's the stuff right there. I think it's her food. Oh yeah, probably papaya. Yeah. She don't hear She's food. she's like kinda she's tweaking a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You gotta get off the whiskey. Too much of that wild turkey 101. Go home, bird. You're drunk. How you doing, girl? You getting sleepy? Tweaking out? <laughs> she's still trying to fight the blanket. <laughs> Only if she's getting a little weaker. <laughs> I 
It's definitely starting to hit her now, and she's still... <laughs> still trying to wrestle the blanket. You need to just go to sleep, girl. <laughs> a silly thing. These are her x-rays. Um, if you look at the bones here, you can see that we have quite a bit of inflammation and some mineralization of the tendons, but I'm not seeing any um, proliferation or, or uh, signs of um, infection of the bone, which is a good sign. Um, you can also see a little bit of arthritis in her knees. Um, her heart looks good. Her lungs look great. Not seeing any changes up here. Here's is the there, full body if you wanted to see that. Is there anything in her wings? or? No, I did not see anything okay. with the wings. So she might have a chance to rebuild a little bit of her mm -hmm. breast muscle. Here's a side view, or what we call a lateral view. The previous view was a, um, a VD view. Mm -hmm. um, something cool about toucans is that their trachea kind of dips like that. I thought that was just fun, different. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, let's see, these are her wings. Her heart is right here. Her lungs are here. The liver is right here, and that may be um, a little bit enlarged. It's hard to say for sure. Um, well, you can see that on blood, though, right? Or we'll at least we'll get see some changes um, to her blood work if mm -hmm. her liver isn't functioning as, as it should. Um, right here is all of her intestines and stomach. Um, kidneys are up here. This I wasn't quite sure about. It may be her reproductive tract. Um, it's it's hard to say for sure. I don't think it's her spleen, but you know it's there's some variation. Um, so we'll you know see what the blood work says. Um, you know she was a breeder for so long. Her reproductive tract may be different than the typical parrots that I see. You know that would make sense. Yeah. Um, let's see. Like, uh, she has a little bit of arthritis in her spine there. Just on the lower. Yeah, right where the. Um, it kind of connects right here. Gotcha. Um, a little bit of arthritis in her knees. And then here's where you can really see the changes to her, her hocks as the lateral view. So here's one. And so this is, you know, the bone right here, but this is the mineralization of the tendon. You can kind of see it kind of sticking down um, and going along where the tendon would run. Um, so that's, you know, you know, right here, there's more arthritis here in the back. Um, so those are those are the you know changes that we you know didn't necessarily want to see, but it's you know better than you know infection in the joint. Right. So I'll, I'll take it. You know, this is just aging changes yeah. that you know we can keep her comfortable with pain medication. Which is good. That's you know that's what I was anticipating. Yeah. So, um, that's a good thing. The um this is the just the tissue bulging here from the inflammation. Your little toes. You can see that <laughs> each um, toe has like different number of bones in it, which is something I find cool. Um, some bird people might think it's cool. I don't know. I think it's cool. <laughs> and this is the right leg because the right leg is pulled forward and we have the right marker there. So this would be her left leg. Um, again, a little arthritis in the knees. Um, more. So in both joints on her, yeah. her legs. And there's only uh, mineralization in her ankles, right? In the hawk. Yeah. I'm not seeing a whole ton in her knees. Just a little bit of arthritis, but whoa, oh. no. Oh, no. So, yeah, here was just the arthritis in her, in her hawks. Cute little toes. <laughs> Birds do have cute feet. Mm -hmm. What questions do you have for me? Uh, I think that just about answers everything. Um, mm -hmm. Everything you've shown, I just wanted to for everybody to get a, mm -hmm. a view from yeah, you it's, personally. Yeah, it's nice to, to educate people yeah. what x-rays look like in birds. Yeah, it's more educational to do this rather mm -hmm. than, oh, she's got arthritis. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now people can see a little bit of the inner workings of a toucan. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, yeah. this is just a product of age and her hawks, you know. Yeah got issues in the process and here we are so now, i'll send these x-rays to my friend who works with toucans way more frequently okay see if he has any other recommendations things that i'm missing admittedly again okay. i don't look at toucan x-rays every day 
Um, so, you well, know, not, not many people do, <laughs> um, <laughs> if anybody, <laughs> if, if there's anything that he mentions that I didn't catch, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause I, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting better with Toucan's x-rays, but yeah. we just don't see them all the time. So, all right. yeah. Yeah. And you did say that her hawks looked like they had already started healing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there was no concern there. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I didn't screw anything up, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look... You know, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful for her. I, I think with some medication, she should improve. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Did you get any with her head in it at all? No, I oh, didn't, because we we pulled her cool head, and yeah, it's that makes sense. You know, we'd we'd have to that's completely okay. knock her out for, yeah, for the head okay. one, and she'd have to be a lot more sedate, and we didn't we didn't yeah, do that okay. level of anesthesia. Okay. I know, but their skull X-rays are so cool. They're really cool. You um, see a little honeycomb and everything yeah, inside her. Yeah, I, I wish we could have, but yeah, that's all right. Wasn't sedate enough for that. <laughs> no worries. Well, we think we got her figured out now. She did a video with uh, her blood draw, so mm -hmm. I will link that on TikTok and Instagram, right? Yeah. Or do you have YouTube shorts? Yeah, at all? I do. Okay. Yeah. I'll link all three. What is this here? This is the SSD cream. That oh, okay. With. Oh, okay, good. So I just lather it on there. And this stuff is good. Is it? It penetrates the tissue pretty well. Is there any particular reason uh, you saw that her right leg would be worse than her left? Or is it just... Let me double check the extras. I think that one had a little okay. bit more arthritis in it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Like the, um, the mineralized tendon looked worse on that side. Okay, and then I placed these little pads on the hawks. Okay, that's the same kind of pad I have. Yeah, it is much easier when you um, have two people. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just use this cast padding. I think I have some of that, but I'll have to... I had When I had another arthritic bird like her, I wrapped all his perches in that padding, and then that wrapped around them so they'd be mm -hmm. softer on his feet. Oh, the tape. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it? like a no pull or non. What is it called? I don't know. It's like a, instead of a, the cast padding, I was using more of a like very not sticky tape in between the vet wrap and the pad. Does that make any sense? Um. Hmm. If you could send me a picture of it. I think I, I have know. it with me, actually. I brought all my stuff just in case. Okay, yeah, I'd like to Is see. Is that the scales molting off of the top of her foot? I, think I don't know are. where that came from. Pretty sure those are your scales. Because she had some unmolted scales just kind of sitting there. Bring them to the top of her leg. Yeah, you can kind of see some of them mm -hmm. there. Oh. I probably should have picked those off while she was high. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we always tell owners to cuddle their parrots whenever they're, they're high, because <laughs> yeah. they'll the never be time. this calm. Two cans are even worse. <laughs> She'll probably be a lot more calm than the others, but the others don't ever sit still. Mm -hmm. Half the time, they just want to bite you. Oh, no. You're a good girl. Yeah, she's like, I don't have a choice, because yeah. I am disabled. <laughs> no. I'm trying to help you. She's been warming up to me though. She was trying to bite me and taking defensive mm -hmm. postures with me for the first few days, but I think she's warming up to yeah, me. It's good. I just give her blueberries and papaya. Mm -hmm. I'll link to Dr. Sue's uh, social media so you can see her get her blood drawn, but I think we're good to go and all my anxiety was hopefully misplaced, so. <laughs> I can sleep soundly now. <laughs> we'll head home today.